Okay. Hello, welcome, my fine friends, to what? I don't know. Is it episode 36, 35? I don't even know. I don't even care. Um. Oh, that might be uh, all right. I was uh, weirdly. Um, we've uh, got bees coming down our chimney at home. I uh, thought they were wasps for a while, but the man we, who does the wasps texted me back and said the wasps aren't around yet. Where are wasps? How can there be no wasps? Where are they the rest of the year? How do they just materialise? So there must be bees. So I thought I'd get Brian Wasp on to discuss that. Uh, and then I tried to get Brian Wasp out of the his little place I was keeping him, and that was what was left in there. I have found a second Brian Wasp. It's still not looking good. Um, do you remember this guy? Booth, he may be dead, but he's got his ovipositor on the pulse. His cadaver is desiccated, but his raging veins convulse. He knows the latest blockbuster and the top of the pos. Buzz, buzz, what's the buzz with Brian Wasp? Yeah, I just put... Uh, the other bit of Brian in the bin. Oh, where's the one gone? Oh, there it is. I just put all the bits in the bin because they're a bit disgusting. This, this is me, Brian Wasp. What kind of accent did you have, Brian? It's been a long time since I've done it. This is, shall we just do a whole episode with all the characters that are not done very much? This, this. When, when you're from Yorkshire. Yes, the, the, the Dalek does that now. Oh, I forgot to get the... That was what I was meant to do before this. I was meant to get that bollock. That's right, I'll do it when, when we're playing his tune. I, my bollock rolled off the table and said, gone over there. <sighs> Richard, come on, put it together. It's not going very well. Look, Matt Terry, you don't need to tell me. It's a disastrous start. I thought I'd do some stuff with a wasp. I can't remember how the wasp speaks. Um, what do you think about the bees coming in, Brian Wasp? Bzzz, it's bad. He thinks it's bad. Start doing the wasp. No one like the wasp. Can't just go on the show. Get the get the dollop the, 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 the out just try and do a good job I'm trying look I'm just trying to get on with the show now um look it's been um oh, it's been quite a tough week I'm uh, I thought I was all better and look I cut my cheek I thought I was all better that's not what's wrong uh, and um yesterday I had a bit of a uh, crash and I was and for the and I've got really dizzy and thought I was going to be sick. So uh, this week's just going to be a very short show. <laughs> you say that every week and then you do a, an hour and a half. Shut up, Terry. I'm trying to do the show. I'll just let me get on with the show and do it properly. It's Earth Day. That's why I've got that. That's the planet I live in, the planet Earth. What I want to know is when's it going to be Mars Day? I love it when people tweet me that. It's great. I should have had uh, Marmite Lid doing that routine. And maybe he will. Uh, good news from Mars, though, if you've been following the news. Uh, there's uh, the NASA rover, as well as flying a helicopter on Mars. We can fly helicopters on Earth. What a waste of money. Sending that one up to... Oh, I'm on fucking fire. If you're watching BBC, I can, I can do this stuff about anything. The Mars... The Earth, the, when's it? Mars Day... Uh, we've got helicopters on Earth. Uh, they made breathable oxygen on Mars. Uh, so we're one step closer to Total Recall coming true. Get your ass to Mars. You think this is the real Richard Herring? <laughs> it is. That's we're one step closer to that happening in um, in real life. That's all i got, really. Oh, a lot of people have been emailing me about, um, about this one. Uh, Hilary Duff is the star in How I Met Your Father. It's the follow-up to... How I Met Your Mother, which you may know I've watched all 100,000 episodes of. Um, it might be all right, because the problem with How I Met Your Mother is that even it, though it's a relatively recent series, it, it feels like it's from like the 1980s, really. There's a rapist character in it who you're meant to like. Um, uh, and I watched, um, oh, what's it called? Groundhog Day 2, um, Palm Springs. Uh, really good. It's on Netflix. Um, Andy Samberg and uh, I should know her name, but the mother from How I Met Your Mother is in it. 
something Melissa or something like that. Sorry, I don't know your name. You're a fantastic actor and she's brilliant in this show. And she was actually too good in How I Met Your Mother. The reason How I Met Your Mother, one of the reasons it doesn't work even at the end is that she comes into the last series and she's much more likeable than any of the characters in it. She's a much better actor than most of the character people in it. And you really warm to her. And then, spoiler alert, uh, she uh, she she dies. And then uh, Ted Mulby goes back to Robin, who's a girl. Um, not that it matters. Uh, and uh, he feels like disappointed. Not only that it's taken them 20 years to get together. So what's the point in people in their 40s and 50s getting back together? Disgusting. They've lost the, the 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 youth that they once had. They could have shared together, uh, but also there's no real chemistry between them. Whereas uh, Kristin Mier- Mierliotti, oh yeah, I know all their names. Thank you, Monkey Shaver, for rescuing me there. Um, that's not another character. That's someone in the chat room. Um, yeah, we haven't had Bell's leg on for a bit, have we, Steve Burnett? And we must. Uh, I thought today maybe let's just do all the characters that haven't really made an impact and leave the other ones behind. Who remembers um, Corky Cat? Meow! 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 I am a mystical cat and I come from uh, an unsubdesified country and I'm here to tell you the future that how I met your father will be. Equally shit as how I met your mother. Ooh, it's Corky the Cat. <laughs> Isn't there a Corky the Cat in a, in a popular cartoon? Ooh, that is he mystical like me. I mean, it's a shame that I've just completely improvised this, because are you even a cat? Ooh, I think so. I think I'm the cat. You look a bit like Mookie from Fireball XL5. That's a reference that's uh, going to sort the... 58-year-olds from the 22-year-olds. Ooh, I'm Corky the Cat. Ooh. Yeah, good. Corky the Cat. Cocky Carrot. Uh, that's how we go. So we just have the the lesser characters. Who remembers? Deputy Dog. Oh, hello there, Muskrat. Ooh, it's me, Deputy Dog. And not the Deputy Dog from the cartoon, even though he had a friend called Muskrat. I'm the new Deputy Dog that Eddie Lodge never did an impression of. I'm smarter than the average there. Yeah, I wish they seem to be quite derivative, a lot of these. What else have we got? Oh, they're, they're quite big. What about Chicky Chick? Who remembers Chicky Chick? They have been in an episode. Not as good as Corky. Corky the cat came out of the box. Bang! A really good character. Coo-coo-coo-coo! Why are you cooing? You're not a dove. Chick, 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 chick. I'm chicky, chick. And chicky me. You're chicky me, yes. I'm farting. Ali Slaughter. Hooray. Oh, yes, thank you. Of course, someone pointed out and I've forgotten who it was. They're probably in the chat room. Was it Ali Fan? Probably was. That um, uh, Ali Sloper won the Grand National in 2015. We may talk to him about that later on. Uh, the Victorian ghost child... You know, I have no control of when the Victorian ghost child arrives. What I do have control of is when Tam O'Shanter arrives. Okay, Richard, it's me, Tam O'Shanter, one of the most popular characters in all of the Tishchatan history. Why am I not on this one? I should be on the Shatnor, the Gora. Yep, no, oh, the stick came. Sorry, I pulled this. Your stick came off. Let's get it. Ah, why are you sticking the stick into the hand? The hand, the gore. The gore is an Irish thing. Okay, didn't you, do you think I do not know Scottish people can steal? Scotch. Scottish. The Scottish, Richard, not Scotch. People can still say the gore if they want. Just like you can say any language you want. That's what I do. Okay, didn't you. It says that character. Um. Hello, it's me, Tiny Andrew Collins. Aside, it's not me. It's a thought that I got one. But blue eye and one brown eye. Because I'm evil. <laughs> They're all back. 
Look, Sally, look, you're not even a peripheral character. You haven't been in for ages, so let's say hello to Sally. Hello, it's good to be back. Sounding quite like Ali. Yes, I'm fine. That you can a little different than Ali because my voice is slightly higher. Yeah. And also, uh, I have some of my teeth and things. So I hiss a little bit, didn't I? That's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah, you do do that a little bit. It's nice to see you. I've missed you. Yes, I miss you too, Richard. Look, I was watching the repair shop uh, the other day. Why have you got Hillary Duff out there? Because she was on the last thing. Let's go back to the logo. We're not going to talk about it. Um, yes, hello. Oh, some saucy young men in the chat room asking to see my ankles. <laughs> You'll have to pay to the, to the rich cunt on my only fans account. And you can see the lot. Um, would you like to go on the repair shop? And I was watching the repair shop last night when I was sick in bed. And... Uh, thought I could take you and Ali in. Do you think it'd be nice to get you repaired? Or do you think it's better that you are as you are? Well, it should. It'd be nice to have my teeth back. You fucking knocked out your trick. Don't talk. And, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing this dress, as you know, Richard. Just uh, lift up my dress, will you? I thought this was only fine. Lift it up. I'll lift up your dress. Oh, there's another dress underneath. Yes, that's right. And that's my original Victorian dress underneath. And uh, it'd be nice to... See that repaired and back to its former glory. Uh, that uh, also you have to remember your nanan. Yeah, my nanan. Yes, there's nothing funny about having a nanan, Richard. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. And uh, she made this me, and you know this is sixty or seventy years old. This still dress, so you know it's an almost an antique as well. So it's hard to know. Whether it will be good to be repaired, or it will be better to stay as we are, old and moldy, falling apart. Bald on the back of my head, can you see? Oh, old. Your hair's a little bit of a mess. You can talk. Yeah, you know, my hair's a bit of a mess. Yes. Yes, you do. Is that the best you've got? Yeah. Uh, that's Sally there. So let all the characters coming back. Uh, Tamashanta's over there. Not Tamashanta, um, Conspiracy Theo. Hello, Richard, it's me, Conspiracy Theo. And I've got a conspiracy. Look, you can look at the world. It's flat. It's flat. Look at it. It's flat. just a disc. Well, where's, the, you know, where's America? Where's Europe? Just there, look to the side. Where's, where's Australia? It's a disc and it's got two sides. And the other, that's on the other side. It's quite simple. Why don't they fall off? They do fall off, you fucking idiot. That's fair conspiracy theory. I tried to write a jingle for him. That was a waste of time. Uh, it's Earth Day. When's it going to be Mars Day? Get it? Because I do the international. Uh, Alcohol-free beer. Don't worry, kids. Uh, 112 days without alcohol. <sighs> Not sure it's done me any good. Um, let's get, uh, let's get Ali Sloper up. Here he is. Hello, it's me, Ali Sloper at last. I'm right. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be here. And, uh, I have to say, uh, this is the, the best opening to a show I think I've ever seen you do. I'm thinking at that aside, it's the worst. That's, uh, that's Andrew Collins. No, it's nine. Aside, I can hear when you say aside. Aside, and uh, uh, I'm three lagging. Oh, -hoo. I'm cheeky knee. I'm cheeky knee. Would you like to go to the repair shop? I don't know what the repair shop is, Rich. Well, it's quite simple. It's a repair shop. They repair old items. I'm not old, do you mind? I'm only 129. That's quite old. Yes, I suppose it is compared to your mortal time here on Earth. That in the infinity that I will exist, it is that a link of an eye. I'm blinking at it. It's a link of an eye. I'm linking at it. I'm linking at the time I've been on Earth. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have your mouth work so I don't have to stick my finger basically through your throat. Yes, that would be nice. It makes you feel sick every time you do that, Richard, I have to say. I feel I'm a little drunk. I hope you don't mind. Well, I'm not drunk. I've not drunk for 112 days. Also, there's a god of gear. It's not, it's a, it's a, it's a glass. Of alcohol-free lager. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yes, I do know. Would it be nice to be retired? I need my little cravat. Could do a little work. It's uh, falling apart. It's a little trade at the edges. Uh, I'm the little trade at the edges. I'm not afraid to say I'm trade at the edges. 
Ian Amazon, I uh, ask you about the Grand. Do you remember the Gan Grand National, nineteen fifteen? Oh, do I remember that? Of course I do. I won the Grand National, and surprise, you never talked to me about it before. What on a horse? No, just me running alongside the horses. I was uh, I was the fastest at running. And, uh, these all the horses jumped over all the hedges, and a lot of the horses died that year. They always do. And ha ha ha! And cheeky me. It's not particularly cheeky to laugh at the death of animals. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was one of my main achievements that I don't like to drag about it. Thank you for bringing it up in the chat room. But, uh, yeah, not my... I don't go on about it. Uh, Hoary Horse not involved. No, Hoary Horse was not alive. The original Hoary Horse, I think, was probably made in about 1995. Maybe in the 2000s, so it was not around in 1915. Look it up, Thakthans and Rathans and in the Guinness Book of Records as the only Eurentrogus dummy to win the Grand National. And that is a fact. Did somebody say fact? Like fuck, fact. It's not a good one. Um... Could we get a close-up of Ali's teeth? What's wrong with you people? What, are they, what is wrong with these people? Why are they trying to get a close-up of my teeth? I don't want that. There's there's people pleasuring themselves to this, definitely. Really? Yeah. There's yeah, some sick people in the world. So, you would you, you know, you, you've got a little bump in your leg there. There's a bit of under... You know, we've got this all spruced up, a new thing on here. Just cleaned your clothes a bit. I don't know whether they... Would they replace you, Ali? Would they paint you? Or would they just clean you? It might be a bad thing, Richard. They'd make your eye. If your eye would be fixed, yes. So you wouldn't be winking at anyone. No, I wouldn't. I guess if they fix my eye. There's a string there that you can pull that would make you wink, yes. But is that as funny if you just wink when you are winking at it? Or is it only funny because you're winking constantly and then you say, I'm winking at it? I think you're right, Richard, that I think it's funnier that uh, I'm constantly winking. So I'm winking at everything, aren't I? Yeah. It'd be nice to see you guys restored to your former glory. You know, you're a little bit tatty. But I just wonder how much how much of you would survive. How little of you would survive. It's a very good question, Richard. I don't know. I don't know the answer. But, uh... Are you going to do any of your side look at the news? Or are you just going to talk about a load of shit? Well, I thought mainly talk about a load of shit. I've been, um... I was at the garage most of the day trying to get my MOT. I've only driven this car about th two or three times this year. And yet still I've managed to fuck up one of the tyres. I mean, I've fucked up all of the tyres. All the tyres have been changed. I think one of them twice in the last year. And uh, the one that hadn't been changed has now got a big crack in it somehow. I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's very interesting, Richard. So I was at the, you know, I was, I was in the garage all day. I was looking at stuff on my phone and whatnot. I've got some stories to talk about, but we've done 17 minutes already, have we? Yes, I hadn't noticed that. Oh, yeah, 18. Yeah, 18 minutes he's done now. So, you know, like you said, you know, you wanted to do a short on this time, didn't you? I did, yeah. So, you know, you're not doing very well doing a short on you. I didn't got any of the other characters in here. I did, I got Brian Wasp came in, didn't he? How does he talk? What's his, what's his accent? I can't remember. I can't remember. Got a bit of an itch. I've got something up my nose. You've got bees up your chimney. Have you, Richard? I've got bees up my chimney. They're coming down the chimney into the bedroom. These up your chimney. Yeah. Um, you got these up your chimney? Yeah, I've got bees up. Did somebody say these up your chimney? Thank you. It took a long time for you to realise that's what we were going for. It wasn't really. Did someone say up your chimney? Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Up your chimney like your vagina or anus? Not anus. I mean, the anal passage. Your anus is not a chimney. Your anus is just a hole. Yeah, you know, you're right. Thank you. Woohoo! Did somebody say hole? Woohoo! You said it. You can't do. You can't do it on your own. Um. Uh, come on, you can get through this, Richard. Come on, you can. You're doing a good job. People love it. I don't know why. You know, there's 244 people tuned in. Really? Yeah, that's a bit lower than last week. Yes, I know it's going down. That's going in the right direction. For this to end, please let it end. Why? Why will it never end? Uh, let it end. 
It'll go on forever. It'll go on forever. Anyway, it's Earth Day. When's it Mars Day? <laughs> When's it Venus Day? Did somebody say Venus? No. Don't do it. Are you going to do it? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to do it, Richard. I've got to do it. You don't have to do it. When's Uranus Day? <laughs> I said, when is your anus day? When is... When is your anus day? Your anus. Doesn't... Cocky Carrot got anything to say? No, thank you. When's Neptune day? Did somebody say nip tune? What, like a nipple? Nip tune? Like a nipple? <laughs> did nip tune a tune played on a nipple? Did somebody say that? They didn't know. You missed. You missed a really good. You missed a really good one. We set you up and everything. God, who's uh, who's that? The Oxford Jether Richard. Who? Who? We can't just repeat the. We've got to come up with new stuff. We can't just repeat. We can just go on over the old classic if you want. Oh, dadushka, 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 ay, ay. Oh, dadushka, dadushka. You're saying babushka. I know I can say D. I don't know. I still don't think I can't say D. I can say D. You can say D. I can say D. The rest of D. V D D D D D D D D D D D D D D B. Oh yes, dadush, dadush, dadush. We look. We've got to bring some new stuff into. I've been trying to get just inject a little bit of something into it by bringing the old characters. Who remembers? Um. Uh, Hector the dog. Who? Hello. I Hector the dog, and I live in a house. It's called Hector's house. I think that's long enough ago that people won't remember it. And uh, Dougal's my name. Too late for that. Dougal the dog. Hey, I got the doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. I like the way we've changed the thing. I am doggy. Oh, that's a bit. We're plagiarising ourselves now. <sighs> Is this a clip show? It's a good. It's a good question. Is this a clip show? It's a very good question, Richard. Is there any news for us to talk about? Let's have a look. We could talk about uh, the European Special League. Is that what it's called, Richard? I think it is. Isn't it the European Super League? I don't know. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, watching that all unravel, Richard, I mean, apart from the fact that uh, football is already rigged so that the richest teams win. What do you mean? Oh, they're all the ones with the most money, do the best. Leicester City, yeah, they had loads of money injected into them, didn't they? That's why they did well. It's just who has the most money, so I don't know why people are upset about that. If they should just short on like York City, like you do. They're a good team. They haven't had money injected into them. They play honestly. They play their best. Is that why they're in the National League North, Richard? They are in the National League North and, you know, they'll be there for another season because they're so low down they're not even finishing their season this year. It's a little bit embarrassment, isn't it? It is an embarrassment. Are they going to win the European Super League? I don't think so. So the ESL, they could do an e a European Tuffet League. The best Tuffets. The best Tuffets? Tuffets, Richard. Tuffets. Like kind of the best Dummies. A European Dummy League. I think that's... The football one, isn't it? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. You're very funny, Richard. You you really got that on go. Uh, but uh, I'd like to have seen it. I'd have liked to see the European Super League. But it, it, and I'd also like to see, you know, what's wrong with the fucking public? What do you mean? It's like, oh, it's football. Oh, it's unfair. It's billionaires ruining everything and just thinking about money. Let's stop that immediately within 24 hours. Oh, the, apart from that, that's not happening anywhere else in the world, is it? Let's just carry on as normal. It's that easy to stop the billionaires getting what they want. The gillionaires. The billionaires. I'm saying the quite clearly. They can stop the billionaires just that easy overnight if you just turn the fuck off. And yet, oh no, 
Oh, do you ever thought, well, that nothing else oh, is wrong with you people? You make me sick. You don't deserve to live on this beautiful planet Earth. You should go and live on Uranus. You do already, basically. And then cocky character. <sighs> You enjoying yourself? I do, you know, I, I love, I do like doing this, and it's nice. It, when even when I've been ill and tired, yeah, it's nice to stop. Just don't look at me when I'm talking. That, that's yeah. But look, look at the people at home. Don't look. It's scary when you look at me right directly, and then people can't see what I can see. Uh, I can, I can, your eyes are swiveling around in your heads, and that. You know, I, this has been. It's been a lovely thing to come back to and to yes, to do. When I've not been feeling well, but you know, I'm, it's it's also a lot of effort, um, and uh, you know, so I'm not going to be full of beans. I'll do my best to get get through. This. You're a hero, Richard. You're you're a hero to carry on doing this. Are you being sarcastic? Yes, I am being fucking sarcastic. Uh, old man, you're not even the middle age, and then you're 52. You're not going to live to 104, are you? Well, I take uh, exception to that because middle age doesn't mean the middle exact middle of your life it's the middle age of your life so it's i think I, i'd say that goes from maybe 45 to 60 so i'm very much in my middle age um i'm right in the middle i would say of the middle age in fact well i don't agree uh i think you know as recent events have shown no under no offense that if you have five more years and you are very surprised well you know i would there was a point Back in February, where if you'd said I can guarantee you five years, I would have taken it, Ali. Yes, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make five years. Yeah, you know the know, but I, you know, I'm gonna do my best to make to live as long as I can, just so I can. Because it'd be nice to do this for as long as possible. Wouldn't it? Yeah, it really would. Every fucking week, exactly the same thing, in day in day out, and uh, you know, it's just the paucity of ambition that gets me. It's very am this is very ambitious. I create new characters every week. You don't create them and they just turn up. What about Corky the Cat? That was a good one. I'll give you Corky the Cat was a good one. But they're not what are they? Um Well, oh, any of them. What about non like Liddies are the fucking shit? Well they can't all be they can't all be zingers, can they? You know, there's a lot I'm doing a lot of characters. Okay. Uh Anyway, you know, look, it's happy it's 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 been a hard month for me. Yes, I don't like to say this because I like to, you know, make out that I'm all laughs and jakes. It hasn't been hard. He's been in dead the whole time. You're watching telly, you're watching fucking The Repair Show. It's not called that. The Repair Show. The Repair. I can't remember what it's called now you put that. The Repair repair Shop. The Repair Show, that's what I call it. I'd repaired it and got it there detonating. Watching Tenable. Then it's what you watch Tenable. Yeah, I watch Tenable. With the Warwick Davis, yeah, and Sally Lindsay does it now as well. What is that about? I don't know. I think Warwick Davis just got bored. So they gave it to someone else. But no one knows all that. No one watches TV in the afternoon. There's a, the music on that by the Willowbrook beds. Oh, God. No one's going to get... This is not observational comedy, Richard. No one's watched this. No one knows it. It makes me feel sick. I don't know if it's because I was sick when I was watching it. But it goes... Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. And this is nicer than it is. It's, there's something more out of tune. Do, 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 do. And it makes me feel actually nauseous every time I hear it. There's something, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling it now. Something in that music, and it's on in every ad break. You check it out, listen to it, and tell me if I'm wrong. Someone email me to tell me the reason it makes me feel unpleasant. Uh, it's because of something to do with major and minor chords changing, and it, it's also sort of out of tune. <sighs> In Sapiens, had lunch with Susie from the repair shop the other day, last Saturday. Well done to you. Did she? Would she? Was that by her choice, or were you just sitting at a table? Um, they're very good. It's a very lovely show, is it? Yeah, it's a lovely show. I mean, I don't think there's enough enough emotional resonance. I think I'll see you be mended, and it won't make me cry, won't it? No, because you know, I. It's I love my granddad, and I miss him, but. You know, that would be a connection to him. But the, my great granddad who made this, I didn't ever meet. I think he died before I was born. Um, and, uh, you know, so... Don't you'd love to see me all looking sparkling and clean? I don't know if it would be right. The thing about you is you're a dirty little man. Yes, I am the, it's on, I am the dirty old man. Oh, you dirty old man. Are you just going to do this from all these little shows? I think so. I think, isn't that what this is? It's postmodernism. We're... we're 
we're taking stuff, kicking it up the road a little bit, see what we can do with it. I don't know if it is so stubbornism. I mean, it's filling up time, isn't it? Half an hour, go half an hour down. She's my friend's wife's best mate. I mean, come on, in sapiens, it's not that. Susie from the repair shop is your friend's wife's best mate. It's quite good. It's not bad. It's better than me knowing you, isn't it? Yeah, you're that bloke off of the TV show than 30 years ago? Yeah. I was on Taskmaster more recently. Yeah, not even, the, you know, your championship's over pretty soon. Taskmaster on in half an hour, uh, if you want to duck out and get ready for that. Apparently the, the most disgusting thing that's ever happened on Taskmaster is going to happen tonight, and uh, that's hard to know. And thank you, Nightbot. Uh, I will be on uh, Pointless Celebrities with Les Dennis on Saturday, as long as no one from the Royal Family dies in the next couple of days, because it's already been de delayed once by old uh, Prince Philip. I mean, if Prince Andrew dies, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Because you've just written that oh, we've got a brilliant sting for him. We haven't got the animation yet. Got a really good new tune for him. It is good. I've heard it. Um, I'd say I don't know if I saw you all with your eyebrows painted in properly and your nose all red. Ugh. Whether I would I think this was marvellous or whether I think it was terrible. I love you just the way you are. Don't go changing to try and please me. Don't close your mouth when you're talking. Don't change the colour of your hair. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can't imagine we're too familiar. And I wouldn't like to see you in a chair. Oh, you know I love you hardly at all. But I'd still like to see you change quite a lot. For example, I think you should do some new jokes. Or maybe just any jokes at all. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. This is the duet bit. You know it comes to when he sees that thing. Does it sound like two people singing? The one and only that we love. I don't know all the words. It's amazing how we're getting these together. I love jokes just the way they are. I love you just the way your jokes are Except I'd like your jokes to change Oh, dadushka, dadushka, dadushka Oh, all yours, dadushka, dadushka, dadushka Yay, yay Bapu Oh, dadushka, dadushka, dadushka Ah, ah, ah Kakum, boom I think we could do this for the whole show. I think we could. But let's get this fella out of the way while we can. We've got to do lots of stuff. Where is he? There's that one. He is me and the king of the world. I like to be the king of the world. I jumped around because I'm the king of the world. And don't forget I'm the king of the world. Because I'm the king of the world. Hello, you all right? No, Richard, I'm not feeling so good. You're not feeling so good? No. Why? What's happened? Are you not the king of the world anymore? No, I'm still the king of the world. Yeah, but you usually come on and go, hey, I'm the king of the world. That's what you have to do. You can't change it. I'm just um, feeling a little bit sad today, Richard, sometimes. When you're the king of the world, you know. The crown that wears the crown, the head that wears the crown is heavy, Natherine. And there's so much going on in the world where... So many sad things are happening that even though it's great, I guess, being the king of the world, and, you know, sometimes I just think, <laughs> I maybe should try and do something to make the world better, and I, you know, I can. And then I think, what can I do? Well, at least your stick's still in. The, the old uh, Tam stick came up. Yeah, my stick's still in, Richard. Look at my head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that is nasty. Oh, yeah, I'm the king of the world. All right, but, you know, i still got a heart. i still got feeling. i still got emotions, and I'm not feeling so good today. And I just, you know, I can't just come and turn it on like a tap. And just going to say I'm the king of the world. And, you know, I'm a person as well. And, 
You all looked at the queen. She was sitting there at that funeral all on her own. Everyone thought, oh, I said to the queen that, you know, at least she's under the queen of the United Kingdom. Not being that that they're in much longer. And uh, I'm the king of the world. And I'm alone, Richard. I'm alone. There's no one can help me do or do what I do. I didn't have the Prince Philip to help me through. I had to sign the only... No, no, there's no queen of the world. No, Richard, who could... You can't expect the king of the world to settle down with one person. I've got to make everyone happy. I've got to like the senor. Do you, is that the phrase? At least so, to like the senor, isn't it? It means the right of the senior. I get to have sex with the wife. There's every man, jack, woman in the world. And, you know, it's too... It's That's not any kind of light, Richard. I just want someone to help me through. I'm so sad and alone. Well, you know, this is a new side to you. It makes me feel more sympathy for you. You know, I hope your head doesn't fall off imminently. I've been hoping it would every week and then we could get rid of you. Because, you know, for me, I mean, this is a progress. At least this has changed a little bit. Uh, and uh, Bridget, yeah. I'm the king of the world. I was only joking. You, April Fool. You can't do April Fools on April the 22nd. I can do it any time I want, Richard. Because I know why. No. Why? Because I'm the king of the world. I'm so happy to be the king of the world. Oh, 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 I'm the king of the world. Oh, 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 I'm the king of the world. It's so good being the king of the world. Money makes you happy. It makes you really, really happy. And having all the money makes you really, really happy. Because I'm the king of the world. Oh, 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 I'm the king of the world. See you next time. I'm the king of the world. Goodbye. Uh, uh, the, the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Oh, I'm the king of the world. Oh, look out for me, because I'm the king of the world. Don't break my rules, because I'm the king of the world. Don't do... um, Don't do a a revolution against me, because i got all the armies in the world. And I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. I hate that King of the World, Richard. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for him either. A lot of people uh, quite like the King of the World. Did you see this story um, in the newspapers? Mouse deer born at Bristol Zoo. It's the height of a pencil. Oh, my goodness. Lockdown has been a tough thing, hasn't it? It has been tough. Lockdown's been tough. But I don't... I mean, it must have been tough for the zoos, wasn't it? It must have been tough for the zoos. But I don't think I can really countenance or agree with what they've done here, Richard. I think it's disgusting. What are you talking about? They... They got a mouse and a deer, and they then breed and had sexual intercourse together to create a mouse deer hybrid. That is not right. That is disgusting. That's a terrible thing to do. I'm not sure that. Yes, it is, Richard. It's a mouse deer. There's no such thing as a fucking mouse deer. That's that horrible. What's his name? Dr. Munro? Dr. Munro from The Simpsons. The, the island of Dr. Munro. The island of Dr. Munro from The Simpsons. Yeah, you know it. He's he's got an island. He's, he breeds all different animals together. Doctor Munro. That doesn't sound right. It is right. The uh, the island of Doctor Munro. Is he sure it's Munro? Yes, I am sure. Not Munro. No, it's Munro. The island of Doctor Munro from The Simpsons. Yes, and uh, and from the Halloween special that someone said Rainbow is correct. They already did this joke. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we'd come up with it ourselves. I know. Well, you know, we sort of did. Because I couldn't... I mean, you couldn't remember the name of Dr. Moreau. Yeah. And he reads them together on an island and Bristol Zoo done it. I don't know if they've made it. I'd, how would that even work? Well, I'll tell you how it wouldn't work. What, the deer fucking the mouse? I can tell you that. That's not how it worked. Really? Yeah, have you ever seen a deer's cock? No. No, I have, Richard. I've seen most of the cocks in my hundred and... Whatever it is, 29 years. And a deer's cock... Is it a deer's cock, really? Yeah, the 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 nail deer, the stag. Oh, if you like. Have you ever seen a stag's cock, Richard? I've seen its horns. Yeah, well, the lead knee, the cocks are very similar. And uh, that would rip the mouse at heart. That would rip it into bits. That is a nail mouse has had sex with a female deer, doe a deer, and Ray, a mouse that I once knew, do, uh, do, a deer that he hawked. Yeah, carry on. Me, a name I call my snooker players. Ray, a who was a nails. All right, that's not very good. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Me, 
I don't want to have sex with it that a mouse does. So the mouse, it mouse has a tiny penis, Richard, and it puts that into the deer's coat, the vaginal passage. Okay, I mean, you know, might, might be a tight deer. It, the lead knee, not once I finish with them. I'm, do, I'm linking at it. Um, and, and then they created this awful, I mean, the zoos are having a time, Richard. I get it that they shouldn't be making Hydra like Dr. Munro from The Simpsons. They did that joke themselves. We can't do it. We can do anyone's jokes. We've established that already. So that's all you've got on the mouse deer that you're going to take it literally. That's a mouse deer. It's a mouse deer. It's the size of the pencil. It's the height of a pencil. Oh, let's get pedantic, shall we? Yeah, let's get pedantic. Um, you know, why would it be if it was a mouse and a deer? It would be if it would come out. Wouldn't it come out somewhere in the middle? That's more the size of a mouse than a deer. You don't really understand how genetics work, do you? Not really. Well, you know, like you, it's quite short. Your parents, your dad's tall. Your nun's the, the, the smaller, and I've come out in the middle. But then some the old, you know, the, it doesn't work like that. Sometimes the little teetle come out a little teetle, and sometimes the big teetle come out a little teetle. It's how it works, and it's the same with nice having sex with deer. Okay, well, if that's all you've got on this, it's all I've got, and it's a fucking good bit, and you can fuck yourself. All right, let's uh, let's talk to uh, my least favourite of all the characters next. <laughs> Cash your excess food in the ground beneath. That's Fox Law. Grip your prey's neck with your pronounced canine teeth. That's Fox Law. The world is actually prejudiced against white posh men. Fox Law. In the middle of the night you must attempt to eat every hen. That's Fox Law. With me, Law Fox. Boom, boom, it's me, Law Fox. Hello, how are you doing, peasants? Are you okay? Ha <laughs> ha. Good to be here. Hello, hello. Oh. How are things going, Law Fox? They're pretty good. Have you passed any laws? Not yet, Richard. That I'm not yet near of London, but I will be soon. I've got a five million pound campaign. Everyone's behind me. Even Nigel Farage has got behind me now. And he is a winner, Richard. He's a winner. He gets things done. And so do I. I'm doing really well. Well, according to the polls, you're not doing all that well. Fo Law Fox, what? Because um, that's not me. That's Lawrence Fox. Well, it's the same. It's a similar. It's almost like you're a parody of him in some way. What do you mean? I'm a fox. I'm nothing like him. I've got a monocle. He's even wearing the same coloured coat as you, and that's just coincidence. Uh, the uh, Count Binface, uh, formerly Lord Buckethead, I believe, um, is tying with Lawrence Fox in the London mayoral race at 1% of the votes. I go on in a hundred people want to vote for me, Richard, and if that doesn't scare the shit out of you, then nothing in the world ever will. One in a hundred people walk down the street and every hundred person you pass in London, a place where people aren't that fucking stupid, generally speaking, will vote for him. You know, it's one in 200 so men get testicular cancer. You'd see someone who'd vote the Lawrence Fox before you'd see someone who gets testicular cancer. Well, you've seen me. Yeah, that's not a good sample, is it? That's just not a good sample. Uh, do you want to know some of uh, Lord Binface's is very good manifesto? I mean, I I would say vote for him if you're in London, but, you know, it's quite important to take it seriously, I suppose. But um, he is good. He's got some good... Um, He's got some good policies. Number one, London Bridge to be renamed after Phoebe Waller. Phoebe Waller Bridge, that's funny, isn't it? Um, free parking between Vine Street and the Strand. I mean, that's funny because that's what is on the Monopoly board. Um, uh, Trafalgar Square, so David Attenborough to be placed on the fourth plinth or a statue of him. Either's fine. Come on, these are good. London to join the EU. We could. I mean, I think a lot of Londoners could get behind that. The Trocadero to be turned back into a truly top-notch video arcade. These are stupid, Richard. They're not. They're very good. Um, Piers Corbyn to be banished to the Phantom Zone. Good stuff. Mask wearing in public to be encouraged during the pandemic and beyond. I agree with that. The Royal Family to keep one of Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace and James Palace and Clarence House with the rest gifted to the nation to help eradicate homelessness. I mean, you know, within the jokes... We see something true, don't we? And my favourite one, the hand dryer and the gents' toilet, the Crown and Treaty Uxbridge to be moved to a more sensible position. Uh, good policies. Shall we look at some of uh, Lawrence Fox? That's not me. Well, you know, it's convenient for parody's sake. 
Um, London will open fully, finally, and permanently on May the 6th. That's a good policy, Richard. I think people will get behind that. There'll be free transport for six months. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, scrap the pollution causing low traffic neighbourhoods that have cut homes homes. All unnecessary cycle lanes will be removed, which I bet means all of them. Um, uh, London will be safe again by removing politics from policing. Don't know what that means. Um, petty crime will be dealt with a New York style broken windows policing strategy to serve as a good policy to serve as a reminder to more serious criminals that London will be a hostile environment for them. Those criminals have had it easy too long. No women will have to share a private bathroom or changing space with their man. Yeah, you can't argue with that. Yeah, I, I can. I know what that's about. And uh, just it just seems to me throughout history, anyone's had a problem with any group of people has said you'd have to share a bathroom with them. And that would be the problem. That's not that's not what it's about. That, that's not an issue. Um Nasty people, you know, yeah. look back through history at the people who complained about toilets and how realistic their complaints were. Um, every year there'll be a festival in London where one day every theatre ticket is free. Wow, we need to get the lifeblood of tourism back flowing back into London. Yes, we do. I'm the genius. That's lovely. It's no can't, can't be in head, though, is it? A union flag will fly outside, outside every school in London. Oh... Yes, what's wrong with that? Do you not like Britain? I do quite like Britain. Um, I'm not... Uh, what I like about Britain is that flags don't fly outside all the schools. That's one of the things I like about it. That makes you not like Britain. No, it makes me like Britain. I like Britain. I like it in its together and I like it in its separate parts. Uh, but I don't think we need to wave too many flags around. Well, you're doing as good as Count Binhead. Well, he's good, isn't he? So I thought as good as you said you liked him. So I thought as good as Count Binhead. I'm doing fine. Thanks, Stan. See you next time. I'll be near London soon. Maybe the next time you watch this. Goodbye. There he is. Um, old uh, Fox, Law Fox there. My least favourite character, but he still has to be in it for some reason. Uh, anything else we're going to talk about? No, I think we've nearly done it, actually. Why don't we do... Um, I've got my bollocks rolled over there. I've got to, and it's really difficult to get to. Let me go and see if I can get the bollock in the time it takes to play this. It'll make a bit of noise right behind the we'll bullet. He created life, but is the harbinger of death. His heart is made of cancer. He's got very spermy breath. He didn't honour the ball sack, so now he's up and left. The pet are cleft. He's left the left bereft. He's vitriolic. And a hyperbolic. He's carbolic. And a symbolic dolic. He's diabolic. E. And a right dolic. Do you think this is a healthy way to process this? E. And the right dollar. Get that right dollar off the screen. What's that right dollar doing behind me? I'm the right dollar. Yeah, I don't want another right dollar on here. There you go, sorry. Oh, yay, yeah. hello, everyone, it's me. I'm the right dollar, can't I? All right, Richard, what's going on? Got a, your dinner still on your shirt, have you? No one can see that. Yeah, I can. I'm the right dollar, can't I? Why do I have to point that out? Because I'm the right dollar. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dagon. Yeah, good. How are you doing without your dollar, Richard? How's it going? You, you having a good time without your testicle and your right testicle having been taken off, i.e. knee? the right bollock i have left you you left the left the rest um i'm all right oh i heard you're quite ill i heard you're nearly sick yesterday is that because of me oh dear what a titty never mind oh yeah i'm the right dollar can't i'm the right dollar well no i've been a little i've been the chemo's made me feel a little bit unwell every now and again i think that's what it is um but if i'm honest with you i don't i don't miss you you doing this knee i i did all this so you would understand how life would be without me and now you're a dandy man. You're not your sandy un dandy unit, Richard. You are not even a trotter man. No, don't get all law fox on me. You are. You are uh, got two thirds of the genitalia. You are two thirds of the man at best. And you miss me so much, don't you? I don't. That you were always a bit big. Look at you. I had you in my scrotum. I mean, I don't know how I coach. You're as big as you're know, almost as big as my head. And I've got a very big head. Yeah, and the right bollock. And um. I think it's better. I would uh, genuinely advise. I mean, 
it's difficult to know, right? Because if you you got a one, if you're a man, you got a one in two hundred and seventy chance of getting testicular cancer. It sounds high, but when you look at the statistics for other cancers, you'll realise how unlikely that is. Um, one in two people will get cancer in their lives, so you know, buckle in. Um, excuse me, uh, and uh, it's hard to know which testicle it will end up in. It might be both, might be one, uh, but I would take one off now if I, while you're fine, because I'm fine. What? I'm finding it much more comfortable. I used to, and you were the bigger of the two, right? Now, my left testicle has realised the bed is now empty and he's sort of shifted across into the middle of it, yeah? Which is a good place for a testicle, right in the middle, that's fine. Um, it just means my pants are more comfortable. Um, I'm not always readjusting. I mean, I sometimes I'm readjusting it just for fun, but um, I'm not readjusting myself. I can go running. You're not flapping around in there, making me feel uncomfortable. I don't have to keep on reaching down, readjusting my pants. Some old pants I've had that had started not to fit, because I was getting digger and digger, and you didn't realise, because I was full of cancer, because I wanted to kill you, because I hate you. Well, that's all well and good, but um, those pants now fit again, so I've got like a whole load of pants that I haven't worn for ages that fit me, and they're nice and snug, rather than just uncomfortable, and I like it. And I would say, genuinely, if you're a man, you've got one testicle that's a bit bigger than the other, lop it off, you've still got one back up. And, I mean, don't, don't do it yourself. Get a medical professional to do it. The only problem is if you get and get cancer in the other one. You know, that could be a problem. But um, you don't need to. It doesn't make you any less of a man. If anything, it may, I think I've become more of a man through this experience. You have not, Richard. You're nothing. Grow some dolls. They can't have done. That's what being a man is about. Growing dolls. I don't agree because, you know, what's, ma what's having balls doesn't make you macho and hard, does it? It makes you soft because what the the most vulnerable part of the human body you just need to look watch this oh you fucker oh, that hurts so much why would you do that you fucking bastard well you know you're a right bollock aren't you yeah i wouldn't hit someone in the doors i've got some respect you got other cold richard you can't go and dash someone in the dollock you can't gash someone in the gollock you cannot that is not allowed you mustn't do that you have to have the cold, even if you're a light bollock like me. I'd never do that to someone else. You've literally kicked me in the bollocks. You've made my bollock be cut off. Um, I've forgotten what I was going to say. But you're sensitive. You know, there's nothing gross and balls. It's the most ridiculous thing. Why aren't balls inside your body? Yeah, it would be better. It would be better. It would be better for us all. It would be better for you if you wanted to kill me because you could get the cancer up into me. The problem with you, you got me cancer in a part of my body that isn't even in my body. So they could just lock you off. Well, I, could, I did the best I could to kill you. I think a lot of people watching this show would be very happy if I'd succeeded. Well, they wouldn't be watching the show, would they? They might be. They might be watching the empty space left by you not being here and feeling much better about themselves. Because it couldn't be any worse than this fucking shit that you're doing, they're sitting out now. You don't even have the good grace to prepare anything. You're just making stuff up as you go along. And I find it dis a disgusting way to entertain people. It's one of the reasons I want you to die. Yeah, I only really, uh, once I heard you doing this fucking puppet show and thought, well, that is so disrespectful to the audience of people who want to be his fans, who tried to like what he's doing, and yet he's doing this awful, awful stuff. I must kill him for their sake. I've done it for you, folks. I hope you appreciate it. Guys and gals, how's it about that then? And, uh, you know, Sorry it didn't work. That's my only thing. My only regret is it didn't work. I'd like the Guy Thorks of Richard Vollocks. And the Guy Thorks of Richard Scrolton. And, you know, it didn't pay off. The gunpowder didn't go off. That I didn't end up being hung off the jumping off the gantry so I didn't get hilt Kong. Not exactly the same as Guy Fawkes, is it? Ian Gunpowder, I call him. I know you do. Look, you know, I'm. I I think you're better off without me. You've got probably got a nice. You could probably be on in the jungle or something. You could go on. I'm a celebrity. You think? Yeah, I think they'd have you on. I'm a celebrity. Would you come with me? And I don't think I would come with you. So it would just the knee lying around on I'm the celebrity, not saying much. You know, I think. But you know, you're, you you'll be renowned now, so you could be on something like that. It's better for you. You've gone alone. You've got alone. Better for me, isn't it? So you know, we shouldn't we shouldn't complain. But I think, you know, to talk about masculinity residing in the bollocks is it, it's just a bit sad yeah that's the kind of thing some kind of semi nail would say isn't it oh no the, the, the oh no it doesn't reside in the bollocks oh look at me i've become all sensitive and female 
Now, you see, I don't think sensitivity is a female trait. So, you know, I think you're very much stuck in an old-fashioned idea of machismo. Um, I think men would be much better off if we did. Look, what a girl you've become. I've not become a girl. I've always been like this. And it's not a girl. There's nothing wrong with being a girl. So I'm not offended by that. But it's not a girlish trait to be sensitive and have emotions and have feelings. Uh, there's nothing more girly than that. You should be like me. Just get in there. Get out there. Stunk off them. Get out. And then, you know, be a proper man. You're a proper man, are you? I'm nothing. I'm just a, a little... One man encapsulated into a little bit of gristle, which should full of cancer, but you know, can't have everything. So, you know, you expected me to be upset. You, you were upset yesterday when you nearly you all got a dizzy and you were nearly sick and you were crying like a little baby. I wasn't crying. I would I would tell you if I was crying. There's nothing wrong with crying. You are crying like a little baby otter. I wasn't. I was just feeling a bit unwell. Um, and, you know, that was... It's... That's fine. I don't know what your point is. You know, I'm not missing. I'm not missing you. It's not a bad thing. I'm, you'd, you're not processing this well, Richard. I don't think you'd accepted what's happened here. I don't think you'd accepted you lost it. Oh, well, I don't feel like I have lost anything. You have. Look, it's staring you in the face. What's happened? You're a unidol, Richard. That's what you are. You're a rondel, a rondel of Wimbledon. Well, I'm not. I don't live in Wimbledon. You you haven't accepted your loss, me. You've got to accept it, Richard. I've come here to try and help you, try and help you process all of this. But you know, I don't think you'd really understood. You could have died. I wanted you to die. I don't think I, I don't think I ever will die. You're not being realistic, Richard. You have to listen to me. It's for your own good. Why are you trying to do something for my own good? You've just admitted you try to kill me, so I don't trust you. Well, anyway. Nice to see you. E on the right, Dalek. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, E, doggone. Now's about that then, guys and gals. E, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. There you go. And he's rolled off down over there. With all that, there's the Law Foxes down there, the King of the Worlds down there, my Chocolate Awards down there. Let's nearly wrap this up. Let's get into some uh, birthdays. We've got a few birthdays to do. And uh, then, you know, we can all... It's three minutes to Taskmaster. And one of the birthdays is... For someone who likes Taskmasters, that's we've already ruined it. Here we go. You've lived another year and you haven't even died. No cancer may be secretly creeping deep inside. If you think that's worth a party, your brain's also going wonky. Let's get an E or or a kick from the reluctant birthday donkey. Hee ha, hee ha, where can't I die? Yeah, yeah, why can I die? Ha 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 ha! It is so good to be alive. And so happy to be alive. Would you like to go to the repair shop, Donkey? No, I just want you to kill me. What if I got the old, you know, everything, all the frayed stuff taken off, new ears put on? No, please kill me. Wouldn't you be happy if you looked like this? No, I wouldn't. I hate London of us here. I am London of us here. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Let's have a look at the birthdays. Uh, this is one I think we should have done last week. Uh, it is happy birthday to Chris Evans. Not that one. It doesn't say not that one. On, I think his son uh, made this one for him. He's 51 years old today. Um, and there he was. 51 years old. I, I always think he's older than me because look at his old man face. His grey hair. And look how beautiful and young I am. I always think he's older than me but he's... 51 years old, so let's give him 51 um, donkey jumps. <gasps> and there's three birthdays this week because Chris Evans got added in late. So here we go. Ben Evans, made, I think, made that for him to look, make him look like he was dead, I think. <laughs> Which he essentially is, let's face it. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Don't do yours as well. Oh, sorry. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't you join in. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Uh, trazon. So, not soison. Soison neuf. No, don't get to confuse me. Um, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. You're enjoying it. Twenty-four, it's fun. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Oh, it's too many. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Trente. Thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 
Well done, we did it. Together we did it in Nonani. We are better together here at and the UK. Let's not make it political. Um, happy birthday, Chris. Thanks for all your hard work. Um, this one is from Andy. Uh, for Andy, uh, it's happy birthday uh, to... The person sending this doesn't give their name, I don't think. Uh, please can you share this card and wish my slightly obsessed with your partner, Andy slash Histor Crow, a very happy birthday. He will be 42 on the 27th of April. Oh, I could have done it next week. And it would make his year to have 42 hee haws. Sad, I know, but this now saves me buying a present. He watches you on Twitch all the time and especially likes Thursdays with Ali and Herring's Twitch are fun. That's nice, isn't it? Even though I make him turn over the Taskmaster at 9 pm. Literally right now. You've literally missed it. Thank you, his long suffering girlfriend and shorter suffering daughter. She's only had to endure this for three and a half months so far. You've got a three and a half month old child. I mean, how has that man managed to procreate? Look at him. No offence, mate, but fucking hell. You've got a girlfriend, a child. This is very much um, not on point for a Twitch of fun fan. Anyway, here's a, your 42 <laughs> he You ready? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, 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 keep going, here, here, doing well, here, 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 keep going, here, 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 it's not long to go now, here, 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 here
That explains an awful lot. I came up here <laughs> earlier. I said, something's gone wrong with the camera, Chris. Everything's gone blue and green. I've turned into, uh, what am I, an Oompa Loompa? Oompa Loompa didgeridoo. I've got another problem for you. There was a man called Jeremy. He was backed in above his weight. Then he went to go on a conference and... Uh, it's harder than it looks, isn't it? And my hair should be a different colour, isn't it, if I'm an Oompa Loompa? Am I an Oompa Loompa? Am I Violet Beauregard? That's what someone's saying. Could be. Oh, it's okay. It's not an atom with the earth behind me. I look like a planet spinning through the stars. He didn't say, you know, well, you know, I'd seen it, hadn't I? So it ruined it. Anyway, back to me. No, oh, thank goodness. I think he makes me look too pink. He's done quite well today. This is more like my natural. He makes me look like a gammon. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's it. The chemo is strong. Thank you, Indigo Spiral. Look, we nearly got it in in time for uh, Taskmaster. Uh, I think we'll uh, call it a day. Although, let's bring back my most popular character. With a smile and a quip, do you see what he did? He's the greatest cartoon character we've had since Hissing Sid. His eyes look like an oil spill, his mouth is like a skid. Mark. You love him or you hate him, it's Marmite Lid. Hello, it's me, Marmite Lid. Woohoo! Richard, uh, today's Earth Day. When will it the Deetle Juice Day? Because he's also, uh, that's confusing because. You probably think I mean the film or the character in the film that Diesel Juice is actually a planet, I think, or a star. Not sure. Oh, hey. So, glad I'll get none money for this week. Uh, maybe a bit later. Uh, there was a new story I wanted to do. That was good. Well done. Let's have a look at the new story. It'll, it ma might be all right. It ma might be all right. That, did you write that headline? Yeah. Oh, it ma might be all right. It na night be all right. It na on the night. Pubs reopenings mean spread may no longer be in short supply. I don't know if you've noticed, it's quite hard to get hold of Marmite. Yeah, it has been. You can't get the big jars, which is what I need. I get through. I eat a lot of Marmite. That's my children. Why would you kill my children? Why, Richard? Why? Because I enjoy the taste of Marmite. And I wouldn't have you if I didn't eat Marmite, because you're the mar Marmite lid. No. I thought they were just extracting the yeast to go on a farm somewhere. <laughs> or to live on a farm. Yeah. Uh... There hasn't been so much Marmite because there's less yeast, because there's less beer being brewed. Um, well, you're not drinking anymore, aren't you? It's not going to be any good. Think of all the Marmite you're killing by not drinking. That's a good point. Uh, but now pubs are reopening, so that's a new story. It ma might be all right. It ma might be. It ma might be all right. It ma might be all right. It ma might be all right. Um, thank you to Marmite Lid there for coming along. That was well worth it. Um, shall we say goodbye, Ali? Yes, let's say goodbye. Do go changing, because that will please me. I think you are an ugly fool. Oh, 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 oh. And do remember that you will die soon, and I will have another fool. Didn't just rhyme fool with fool. I'm making that other go along, isn't he, a fucking drake? You may remember the when we first met that I thought that you were quite a cute person. Not in a sexual way, although you did wank me off. Yes, that was later. I didn't wank you off when you were a child, and anyone who says I did is a liar. I'm not Prince Andrew. You've got the wrong puppet. He's not been on it today, has he? No, he hasn't. That you had to remember you grew up and are now ugly. I loved you just the way you were. Please change that to the way you were. You are very unattractive. Now you're old. Well, it's a beautiful way to end the show. Thank you very much. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I didn't know we were going to sing that song today. Do go changing. Please become younger and have two dollocks like a real man. Don't you start. And the please remember... That you are my least favourite one in Lee and Herring. I always knew the other one would be successful when they worked together. You didn't work with him. He wasn't even in that sketch. 
I was you taken the you couldn't you look too much like him and on a show with me he wouldn't do that he's got too much class that he went off on his own oh so now I'm stuck with you doing this in an attic it should be the most tragic thing you've ever seen in your life and yet it isn't is it yes it is <laughs> I don't think it is who attacks the oxygen who thanks very much everyone you know it's going all right, isn't it? Considering it's so could be worse, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be worse. How could it be worse? You could be Prince Andrew. Yeah, true. His dad's just died. Yeah, that wasn't what I was referring to. All right, everyone, have a great week. Hopefully, see you back next week. Hopefully, I'll have a bit more energy. You know, and we can do a proper length show. Sorry, this was a short one. Bye, everyone. I love you. I'm linking at it. I'm linking at it. Not in that bit, though. I love him really. Aside, I don't love him. I think he's an idiot. Goodbye. <laughs>